Hi, this is Teacher Chris. Welcome to Math Mathali. In this video, we're going to talk about rational exponent, wherein we are we need to simplify and express our answer into positive exponential form. So first, we deal with the cube root of m multiplied by the fourth root of m cube. Earlier on our video, we we deal with uh, from the rational exponent to radical numbers so this time around we do it differently we are going to deal with the radical numbers and then we make it into rational exponents so according to the first or earlier video to make this one into a radical exponent the nth root will be the denominator and the uh, exponent of m here will be the numerator so in this case you cannot see any exponent but again whenever we are dealing with a number or a letter without the exponent the exponent will always be one multiplied by again the nth root will be the numerator denominator sorry and the uh, raised to m cube means we are we need to put put this one as the numerator and then we solve according to the rule of exponent if we have the same basis we just add the exponent so we have here m one third plus three fourth dealing with fraction we just need to find the lcd which is 12 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 1 is 4 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 3 is 9. So, m raised to 4 plus 9 is 13. And then, rewrite 12. So, our final answer is m is equal to 13. m raised to 13 over 12. On our second example, we have here m raised to one third n raised to negative two raised to three fifth. So according to our law of exponent, whenever we raise another power to another power, we just need to distribute the the power outside. So we have here three fifth multiplied by one third. We have here m raised to one times three three and five times three fifteen. And then we have here n negative 2 raised to negative 2. Um, multiply it by 3 fifth. We have here n negative 2 times 3. It's negative 6 over 5. Again, according to the law of exponent, whenever we are dealing with negative exponent, we are going to make it into or to put it as the denominator. So we have here m 3 over 15. We make m m raised to 3 over 15 as the numerator and n negative 6 over 5 I mean positive 6 over 5 as the denominator to make the exponent here positive we are just going to make it as the denominator so our final answer is m raised to 3 15 over n raised to 6 over 5. On our third example, we are we're going to deal with m n raised to 2 third divided by the quantity m raised to 3 fourth and n raised to 1 third raised to 2. First thing we do is to distribute 2 third to each and every um, variables inside the parentheses. m raised to 2 third because 2 third times 1 here and there's also 1 there becomes two third and n raised to two third divided by we are going to distribute also this one so we have here m two times three part is six over four y six over four two times three is six and copy four and n raised to two times one third is two over three y two over three because two times one is two copy three and then according to the law of exponent whenever we are dealing with division we are just and we have the same basis we are just going to um, subtract the exponent so we have here m raised to two third minus six over four 
n raised to 2 third minus 2 third. Next. Um, 2 third minus 6 over 4. We have here at 12 as the LCD. 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 2 is 8. 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 6 is 18 minus 18. And then 2 third minus 2 third is 0. Again, whenever we are dealing with any variable or number that is being raised to 0, it is equals to 1. So rewriting, we have here m raised to 8 minus 18 is negative 10 over 12. N raised to 0 is 1. Next. Um, negative 10 over 12 can be simplified to M raised to negative 5 over 6. But then again, we cannot we cannot deal with negative exponent. So to make it positive, we are going to get its reciprocal. Or to make this one in simpler form. Or in simpler word, we are going to make this one into the denominator. Or put it in the denominator part. So, we have here m raised to 5 over 6. So, we do not have any numbers here, but we need to put 1. Again, whenever we are dealing with uh, this kind of example, we first distribute the given exponent according to the law of exponent, a power raised to another power, and then distribute also this one. Afterwards, combining the, the same basis, we are dealing with division. That's why we subtract the exponent. We get the LCD, which is 12. Then we divide and multiply. And then we do the math here. And then we have here n raised to 0 because 2 thirds minus 2 thirds is 0. Again, whenever we are dealing with this kind of um, a variable or any number raised to 0, it will always be equals to 1. And then we have here m raised to negative 10 over 12. We need to simplify our exponent always. Whenever we are dealing with fraction, we need to simplify it first. So that's why we have here m raised to negative 5 over 6. But then again, we cannot deal with this kind of, uh, with the exponent that is a negative. That's why we are going to get the reciprocal. Or in other term, we're going to make m raised to negative 5 over 6 be the denominator. And that's why we have here m raised to 5 over 6. And then we are going to put 1 as the numerator because we don't have any letters left that is positive. And that's all for this video. Thank you.